Hey guys, this is Donnie from databases.biz. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a login form for your Microsoft Access database. So to get started, um, we're going to create a table. So we'll go to table design and you're going to type in user ID. It's going to be an auto number. And then you'll type in first name, last name, username, and password. Just like that. Make sure all your fields are exactly like mine. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to ed edit the input mask for the password. So we go click in password right here. And down here, you're going to click on input mask and then select the little squiggly button. It's going to ask us to save it. And I need you to save it exactly how I'm going to save it because there's going to be some visual basic code that we're going to have to put in. Um, and I'll show in the description below where you can download that. So you can just copy and paste it, but it needs to be the exact same. Um, name is what I'm putting here so your code will work properly otherwise you're going to keep it get all right so tbl underscore login um, it's asking for a primary key and we're not going to worry about that right now all right so here is the input mask that just opened after we saved it and you're going to select password um, and you're just going to hit finish because that's all we need and now the input mask for that is correct let's see so now we'll just go ahead and hit save again up here and then hit view and you'll see um, see now we got password filter in this case so what we're going to do now is just go ahead and type in some login information because it's going to be used for the form to log people in um, so we'll just say john smith username is smith password is one two three four Actually, we'll make it Smith just so we can remember these passwords. So, uh, all lowercase Smith. Next one is going to be Jane Doe. Username is Doe. And then password is Doe. All lowercase. And then we can say Incredible Hulk. Username is all lowercase Hulk. And password is Hulk. And that should be good enough for right now. We can close the table. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we're going to create our login form. So we can go to form design and you're going to add, we're going to add a, a couple of text boxes. So here's one here and let's we'll see, then we'll add another and we'll call this, we'll name this one username and then we're going to name this over here. You're going to type txt underscore username make sure again you name everything exactly as I do and we're just going to do a copy and paste and then this one's going to be password and then for the name of it is going to be txt underscore password and then we need two command buttons so we're going to click here and do let me skip the wizard part of it and that's going to be name, and I just double click on the name there and click. It's going to be login. And then the name of it is going to be CMD for, oops, sorry. Let's go back here. Get out of that. Click on again. Over here, it's going to be CMD underscore login. And then just copy and paste right over here. Um, line it up. Name it is going to be cancel. And then click out and click on it again to go over here and name it. And CMD underscore cancel. So what we'll do is just um, let's line these up a little bit to make them look a little nicer for our login form. So just kind of bring them over here a little bit and bring all this up. It's going to be a smaller form. And I'm going to. To move this, all you gotta do is just click right up here and then drag that to the left a little bit to line it up, get closer to the label. And same thing here, drag. And if you wanna line these up to the bottom, you can just highlight both. Then you can do a line to the bottom. That way you can make sure they're all even. And I wanna make these a little bit longer. Oops, gonna do. The sizing handle, make it a little bit longer. 
And I'm gonna kind of, oops, kind of center my login buttons a little bit here. And we want to make password just like in our table. Come over here to data input mask, and we're gonna make that password also. And then hit finish. And a couple other things with our form. You're gonna click in this box right here. Just double click so you get the sheet over here. And on format, the caption, we're going to name it login. And that's that's going to change the name of the form one to login. And then record selectors, we're going to go record selectors and say no. We don't want any navigation buttons. Scroll bars, we're going to go neither. And I'm just double clicking, but you can hit the drop down over here if you don't realize what I'm doing. Um, border style, let's see, border style, I'm going to do dialog. And then the close button, I'm going to say no to that. And then we're going to click on the other tab. It's going to be a pop-up form and modal. That means they can't do anything um, except for what's on that form. They can't try and go into other places um, and bypass it, basically. And then shortcut menu, we're going to put no. And then we're going to save the form. You're going to name it FRM underscore login. All right, now I want to double check, make sure the caption didn't change up, and it did, and I thought so. So change the caption again to the login for the form. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is now, it's gonna, we're getting ready to add some code. So I'm gonna click on the login button, and I'm gonna go to event, and then for the on click, I'm gonna click uh, select event procedure right here, and I'm gonna hit the three little dots, and that's gonna bring up my Visual Basic form. This is where you'll need to go download the code. Uh, I said it's going to be in the description. There'll be a zip file, and you can download that code and get the code out of the uh, text box or text notepad that I provided. So, and then what you can do is just in between the private sub and in sub, you're going to paste this part here and this part here. Make sure you don't repaste the private sub and in sub again when you do that. And what this code is basically doing is going to check, make sure your username and your password fields are not left blank. And then it's going to prompt when, when they are. And then it's also going to check the login details and make sure they're correct by comparing it to the values. Remember what we typed into the table. And then if everything's good, it's going to give us, it's going to welcome us and everything to the database. All right, so we're good on that. And just hit save again right here. And then you're going to close the Visual Basic Editor. And then you're going to go over to Cancel. And do the same thing on the cancel button. You're going to click event procedure and then reopen the Visual Basic Editor. And you'll see now we're in the, the cancel area right here. And then you're going to um, put the code for cancel, which is then also going to be in the zip file in the description below. This one you should be able to just type um, pretty easily. And that's, that's basically it. When they cancel, it's just going to um, close everything out, It'll close the database and everything for us. Okay, so we're going to hit save again here, close Visual Basic Editor, um, save our form again, and close the form. And then you want to go over to File and Options, and then go Current Database. And you want to select the form login to be the form that opens on startup. And then you see right here, it's going to tell you you're going to have to close and reopen the database, which is what we're going to do. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to close the database. I'm going to reopen the database, which mine is called login test. So, um, hold on. So, let me close this real quick. And so, you're not seeing the screen I have right here. So, let's go over here. So, you may get this bar right here. And if you do, um, obviously, it's going to not let the code work because this is a something Microsoft added for security to make sure we don't open anything with the, you know, bad stuff like for hackers and stuff that may put garbage in there we don't need. Um, so, so what you do is you just hit enable content and so, and then right here you can see now the form is open and there's ways to get rid around that like your users can put their MSX access database in a safe location, a yeah, trusted location I mean, or things like that. Or you can write some code to try to um, fix that. So right here, now we're at the login form. So I'm going to type some garbage in here and try to log in. And it's going to say incorrect username and password, try again. I'm say OK. So remember we did hope was one. I did incredible hope. And then the password was also hope, all lowercase. And then I'm going to hit log in. And right here it says hello incredible because it used my first name. 
and hit OK, and then it closes. And what, what you would do is you would have a secondary form to open up um, to the main form. And so let's just do this again. And then let's see. I'm going to add John Smith, so I'll do Smith, and then the password Smith. Log in, hello John, and then so on. So let's go ahead and, and while we're at it, we're about what 10 minutes or so. Just real fast, let's just say we wanted to open up that main form because you're probably asking, well, how do I open that main form if you if you're not, not experienced with it? So we'll go to um, database tools right here. Well, first let's create a main form and um, just do form design. And up here we're gonna do label. Oops, that's the text box, not label. Up here we're gonna do label. And then just say main form. I'm gonna save it and just call it main. And we can probably make that bigger. Let's say 24. So we'll click here. Bold. And that's good enough right there. Uh, maybe right here I'll just say, I don't get too fancy. We're not doing anything. Just um, caption right here. I'll just say main. All right, so that's it. So I'm gonna close this. And then we we'll go to database tools. So remember we put some Visual Basic code behind the login form. So we'll go to database tools and just click on Visual Basic. And right here, you know, you can see anytime you put Visual Basic behind a form, uh, it's gonna put a list of all the different forms right here. So you'll be able to just come in here and double click on it to edit it. So we already know this is the code. And what, what we can do is we'll add code right here to open the form for us. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. And so what we're going to do is right here when it says hello and then you get the values and it puts the first name and then you got the, it's going to say, you know, it's going to close and save that form. What we're going to do is we're going to say do command dot open form. And let's see, and we want it to open, you know, put in quotation mark F main comma. And you want to do normal, that's how it's going to open, and hit enter again, so tab. And then comma, we're not using any filters, so you comma again, and we're not doing any, we're, you can see it's putting bold here, all the stuff we're doing, so we're not using any conditions. And then comma, nothing's going on here, one more comma, nothing going on there. And then, let's see, and then, and then we want it to be normal. Yeah, it says window normal, but I don't want it to be. I'm going to put normal. I don't know. We'll see if it gives me an error or not when I don't select the one that they have. All right, so then I'm going to hit save. I'm going to close this. And I'm going to close the database again. And I'm going to come over here and open it again. And I'll type Smith and Smith. I'm going to click log in, say hello John, and then there you go. So it opens up the main form for you. So that's how you can get to the main form and everything. Um, and so that, that's it. Um, don't forget to go over to databases.biz. I have other videos over there. Um, probably the same videos I have on YouTube actually. It's just more organized over there for you of what I have. So feel free to swing over there and check out what I got. Um, also hit like and subscribe for me. I'm gonna keep on making these videos. I, I hope they're really helpful for you. I'll do my best to find some that I know through my experience of building databases, what I enjoyed to have in my databases, little tips and tricks. All right.